new businesses and people are lighting up the future of Davison. The Denha family, who own BP on M15, are part of that new future. The family has come to Davison all the way from Iraq to set up businesses, including one in Davison, because living in Iraq wasn't the safest. Uh, it's like right after I left uh, Iraq, ISIS, it's like that's when ISIS was uh, taken over, you know? And like a month after, they came and took over like the house that I lived in. And it was like seeing that was crazy, you know? It's like I was feeling lucky to be here after seeing that. Families like the Danha family are at the forefront of a changing Davison. It's even showing in the schools. In 2003, the minority percentage in Davison schools was only about 7%, but since 2022, it has grown by almost 10%. So when I started in 95, there were so few minority students that I, I bet you I could, by name, identify most of them. Uh, fast forward to today, uh, Davison's been enriched with an influx of students, and I couldn't do that. I see new faces every day, but I think it's awesome. I love it. Not only are there more minority students in the schools, it's also starting to change with the staff. I think the power in hiring top-notch educators who uh, reflect those students, I think that was a brilliant move on our admins part. You've got um, Mr. Tharp, you've got Mr. Wheeler, you have um, Mr. Williams, and Mr. Woods. They are here and they are like treasured by the whole staff. All the students, like everybody loves them. And students are also noticing the difference. I feel like it's good. Uh, I feel like it's definitely gotten like better over the years and like how like everything has changed. Families like the Denha family are one of those reasons and many other families that Davison is growing and introducing new faces and businesses every year. This is Jaden Howe with DTV News.